The federal government has assured Nigeria's humanitarian community of its commitments to protecting the lives of aid workers in the country. The Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs is asked the management and social development. While marking the World Humanitarian Day in Abuja, says government will do all it can to ensure aid workers can operate in a conducive and safe atmosphere in the country. I want to also assure the humanitarian community that the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development will do everything possible to see that the protection of these humanitarian workers is our paramount priority. Therefore, we'll do everything to protect their rights and their lives as enshrined in the IHL. The visionary leadership of His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari in creating the ministry placed Nigeria in an advantageous position to tackle the challenges and vulnerabilities that emerge due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Today is an opportunity to commemorate all the humanitarian workers who have been killed or maimed in service of humanity. Last year, according to humanitarian outcomes, some 125 aid workers were killed globally. Many of those killed were killed in Nigeria. In total, some 40 UN and NGO workers have been killed since the start of the operation, 15 in the last 12 months alone. It defies belief that those who work to come to the aid of others should themselves be targeted.